Hi guys, uh, shooting full of holes here um, at one of my favorite places. Um, this is uh, where I come to do hunting when I have time. As you can tell, it's it's a huge, huge place. Uh, I think it's over a thousand acres. Um, anyway, here we are at uh, the creek. The creek here. It's really cool because when there is water, it's definitely ducks and geese and all sorts of other stuff. Um, and the other cool part is uh, normally when it's uh, the water washes out, it's pretty much a nice uh, shooting range, about uh, 500 yards all the way down to the big trees all the way down there. So I'm going to turn this around. Um, The main reason uh, I'm here today is uh, to shoot the the bend dog um, and try out uh, three different loads. And uh, what I like about the, this creek is that um, it kind of uh, kills the, the wind a little bit, so it's pretty nice for long distance shooting. But with the bend dog, I'm probably just going to go 50 yards. I will try to shoot out to 100 and see how what that's like. But one thing I've realized about the the bend dog is that it's really it's a really light gun all the weights like right here so up front you kind of tend to tend to move around a little bit more but anyway uh all right i'm gonna cut uh to the shooting okay guys uh 50 yards jsbs 81 grains uh 50 yardas con uh, jsbs uh, 81 gramo grains um, tenemos un poquito de viento, we have a little bit of wind but uh, I'm gonna shoot a five shot group here we go Okay, I think it's shooting a little bit to the right. The wind stopped blowing for a bit and then it started shooting to the right. So, um, disparo un poquito a la derecha. Eh, la voy a calibrar un tantito. So, I calibrated it a little bit. And, uh, gonna go on to the uh, nozzler extremes at 50 yards. Okay, uh, now we're gonna shoot the Nosler Extremes, 145 grain at 50 yards. Uh, ahora voy a disparar uh, los Nosler Extremes a 140, uh, que son, uh, pesan 145 grains y voy a disparar a 50 yardas. Um, I'm only gonna take a three shot group. Uh, the nozzlers are pretty expensive. They're 20 bucks for 25, so I think three shots is enough. No más voy a tomar tres tiros porque son bien caras los nozzlers. Y con tres tiros ya ahí me puedo dar, ya puedo dar cuenta, me puedo dar cuenta bien lo que está pasando entonces.
can be dropped about three inches and shot right about another two inches. Bajaron tres pulgadas y dispararon a la derecha como otras dos pulgadas. Pero vamos a seguir. Después se puede calibrar. Wind's picking up a tad. Only an inch away from previous shot. No más una pulgada de diferencia. El último tiro. Beautiful. Muy bonitos tiro. Okay, now I'm gonna calibrate it for the nozzles. So far they seem to be the most accurate. Lo voy a calibrar por los nozzles porque por ahora se ven los lo más precisos. Um, now I'm gonna take two more shots. Voy a tirar dos tiros más. Si escucharon ese pájaro, es un faisán americano, uh, bueno, un faisán chino que lo introducieron aquí a Estados Unidos. If you heard that sound, it was a Chinese pheasant, which got introduced to the United States. That is a male. It's not very far, unfortunately, not in season. Okay, dos tiros más, two more shots. Pretty close to the bullseye. I'm gonna go a little bit more to the right. A little bit down. Last shot. Ooh, dead center with a ricochet. <laughs> oh, that was fun. All right, lovely. Now we're gonna start uh, shooting the uh, um, Air Venturi uh, hollow point. And I think I'll take five shots with them. Okay guys, uh, <clears throat> rifle is, uh, the Ben dog is loaded up. Uh, Pressurized to 3,000 pounds again, and I've loaded it up with uh, Air Venturi hollow points, 95 grain. Uh, ahora vamos a disparar el, los Air Venturis. Eh, no, son. Uh, oh, these are 115 grain. Son 115 grains. Um, y son un hollow point. Vamos a ver cómo de, de bien disparan. La tengo. 
cargar el rifle de nuevo a, a 3000 libras por pulgada ok well, let me see if the camera is on sorry guys it's uh, a little difficult doing all the stuff sometimes ok I'm gonna shoot a five round group because I really like these air venturis, they look really nice, but we'll see what what happens. <sighs> Shooting a little high, a little left. That's fine. I'm not gonna adjust. I'm just gonna shoot. Esperando un poquito alto, un poquito a la izquierda, pero está bien. No voy a recalibrar la mira. Voy a seguir disparando. It's okay if you're shooting high because it's a lighter pellet. Está bien si está disparando un poquito alto porque es más liviano el el, el balín. Way off. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I don't think the Aventuri is good for this rifle. Alright, so if you're shooting elephants, it's great. Si estás disparando, matando elefantes, está perfecto este tiro. Okay, <clears throat> this time I've taken the tips off the, the nozzle extremes and converted that into a hollow point. You can see the little red tips there. And uh, we'll see how accurate that is at 50 yards before we go out to 100 yards. Eh, ahora les quité las puntas plásticas a los eh, nozzles extremes para hacerlo un, un hollow point y vamos a ver cómo funciona eso, cómo disparan eso a 50 yardas antes que antes que empezamos a disparar a 100. Okay. Okay, here we go with the uh, nozzle extremes uh, without the point. Uh, aquí voy a disparar los nozzle extremes sin la punta. Eh, tres tiros 50 metros. Three shots, 50 meters or yards.
Okay, not a bad group. Um, los tiros no fueron tan malo, but I still think that maybe the the tip does help it become more accurate. Um, also, um, as you can tell, it's a little off of center from my last shot with the the Nosler Extremes. Um, so it's shooting a little bit to the right. But, uh, I don't know, we'll have to keep on, on testing it. Okay, now I'm going to shoot the Nosler Extremes, a three-shot group at 100 yards, uh, with a tip in. Voy a disparar a 100 metros con los Nosler Extremes, pero esta vez con la punta, con la puntita roja metida. Okay, uh, that's 100 yards. Um, <clears throat> I put a shoot and see target out there. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to see the shots a little bit better and see how much it drops. Um, esos son 100 metros o 100 yardas. Eh, vamos a ver cuánto cae el plomo o el balín eh, con tres tiros. Eh, acuérdese que estos son los uh, Nosler Extreme 145 grains y esta vez con la punta. Eh, hay un poquito viento, a little bit of wind, uh, pero viene de mi... Eh, de la espalda, entonces no, no pienso que va a afectar mucho. All right. <coughs> the rifle is pumped to 3000 psi again. El rifle está apresurado a 3000 libras por, eh, por pulgada. Hay un palo chico. There's a stick that's kind of on the way. I'm going to try and shift up a little bit, not bump the camera. Sorry guys. Run. Okay. Voy a poner la cruz en el puntito rojo. I'm going to put the the crosser's on the red dot. Wow. I cannot tell where that went. No puedo descifrar para donde se fue el tiro. Uh, no veo que pegó papel. I don't think it hit paper. That is quite a bit of a drop. I'm going to use the last uh, mill dot. Voy a usar el último punto de la cruz. Y a ver si, si me, me está pegando el, el blanco. Wow. At a hundred yards, it drops phenomenally. Hacia um, metro cae un buen poco. I haven't had time to do drop charts on it. No tenido tiempo para hacer tablas y ver cuánto cae. Eh, pero está cayendo casi un pie. A lo mejor un poquito más. 12 pulgadas. All right, third shot. I'm gonna use my mill dot, my last mill dot. I'm gonna aim at the very top of the the target. Voy a usar el último punto que tengo en la mira telescópica y voy a apuntar a la parte de arriba de, del blanco.
Okay, and a little bit to the right still. So easily this rifle is uh, capable of a hundred yard shot. I don't think the wind affects it too much. Uh, it's just a matter of actually getting your your mill dots sighted in properly. Um, I would have to say that you probably want your top mill dot, not the crosshairs. Or or better better said, you want your rifles. Uh, the crosshairs on the rifle, you want that set probably about 75 yards. Um, yo diría que un, quisiera, uno quisiera poner la, la cruz de la mira eh, centro, pero a, a, mejor como te digo, calibrado a 75 metros. Entonces, si uno tiene, eh, puede mover para abajo y para arriba por los puntos a, a cinco hasta 50 metros o a 100 metros y a lo mejor no cae tanto ok, now we're gonna shoot the nozzles again I've pumped up the rifle vamos a disparar los nozzles de nuevo bombeé el, ya la apresuré el rifle y de nuevo vamos a disparar a 100 metros esta vez calibré la mira para que disparara el último, último eh, punto de la mira Y vamos a empezar de 100 metros y trabajar para adentro. A lot better. Let's go two inches higher. Okay. I'm gonna take two shots. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to take two more shots again at 50 and see where that's at. Voy a disparar de nuevo a 50 metros y para ver a dónde está ahora en la mira, con cuáles puntos pega. Okay, now we're going to shoot at 50 yards. The sun is kind of blaring on it. Vamos a disparar a 50 metros. El sol sí le está brillando un poco, pero bueno, ¿qué le vamos a hacer? Dos tiros a 50. Two shots a 50. Let's see if I can. I'm going to use the very top chevron or dot. Voy a usar el punto más alto de la mira para los 50, para el tiro de 50 metros. Y ahora donde pega. Okay. 
entonces es el segundo, el tercer punto. All right, so on my scope it's the third point. All right, so next shot should be dead on. At least pretty close to being dead on. Let's see if I can focus this a little bit better. Oh yeah, there we go. It should be in there. It should be in the red. Dead on. Centrado. Perfect. All right. Now I know what's going on at 50. I know what's going on at 100. Later on, I'll really practice the 70 and the, you know, 60, 70, 80. And, um, and then I'll make a table on, on this. Después voy a practicar los 60, 70, 80, 90. Y después lo voy a hacer un, un, una tabla. Um, y lo voy a poner eh, todo puesto aquí en la mira eh, o en, la, en el cubre de la mira um, and then I'll put my little cheat sheet on my rifle on my scope cover and we're going to be good to go but uh, nozzlers for sure the way to go, most accurate forgot my earplugs if you ever forget your earplugs just a little bit of toilet paper will work si te olvidas tú se... Um, Los protec la protección para el oído puede usar un poquito de papel de baño eso funciona muy bien un, eh, un ranchero me, me enseñó ese truco uh, farmer taught me that trick all right well hope you enjoyed my video um, I hope it was helpful and uh, like I always say grab a target go out in the woods shoot a full of holes